it's kind of amazing to me that people will defend ideas. Andrew Tate's a human trafficker. Cool. They put it in the news. Some person says, I know Andrew Tate personally. He's not a human trafficker. I lived with him for years. Someone else says, he's a human trafficker. Why? Because the news told you? How do you even know? <laughs> Why are you defending this idea? Have you seen the case file? Did you ever live with me? Do you know me? No. The BBC printed it, and now you're defending it to the death like you know something. You don't know a fucking thing. And they're going to sit there and go, oh, but the BBC said, the BBC said, take the vaccine, dummy. Wake up. Why are you defending this idea? You don't even have any skin in the game. That's why when I see people who ignore the things we say, I'm not like, oh, I really want to help him. I don't give a shit. If you're an idiot, stay an idiot. It's, ah, you're on their team. You're genuinely the enemy of free thought and sovereignty and individualism. You're the kind of people who are going to march us into the concentration camp thinking you're doing the right thing because you can't think for yourself. Bro, I would love if I had power of God. Let's say I was God for a day mm. or I was a ghost. I would go up into the sky and I would find all of the people who screamed at others to wear masks and I'd put them all in a room <laughs> and I'd say, two years ago, you were walking around screaming at your fellow man to wear a mask. You're no longer wearing a mask. Neither is anyone else. Have you even for a fraction of a second felt shame? Have you even looked in the mirror and goes, I was yelling at people to wear a mask and that was clearly unnecessary. I was psyoped. Do you have enough personal responsibility to understand that they fooled you and you were an agent of the matrix and helped them propagate their false worldview? You detrimented the lives of the people around you who you have in common. You have more in common with the people around you than you do the elites who gave you this idea. You damaged their lives running around like a banshee being an idiot. Have any of these people even looked in the mirror and felt guilty? No. None of them even feel shame. They're just walking around now, normal, do, 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 waiting for the next thing. They haven't even sat there and goes, I was a fool and I helped the Matrix get everyone locked in their houses. They don't even have any personal responsibility, no shame, no guilt, no honor, nothing. These are the people who would take the 50M. They don't give a fuck. They'll say whatever they're told. Give me the 50M. Yeah, transgenderism's great. Yeah, I'll put a wig on. Da -da. Honorless, empty people. And the devil loves, what they say? Devil loves idle hands? Mm -hmm. I would argue the devil loves idle souls, empty souls, empty minds. If I could find all of the people, I'm not a violent man. I'm capable, but I'm a nice man. If I could find the three or four people who tried to yell at me to wear a mask right now in the world, I might slap them in the face. <laughs> I might go up to them and say, you don't remember me, but two and a half years ago in the gas station, you told me to put a mask on. Bam. Because you're an idiot. They're idiots. And it's scary that this many people are walking through the earth just waiting for the next program to be injected into their mind so they can come and attack you and me and their fellow man. They're not going to attack the elites. They're going to be told something by the elites and attack us. One day, Matt, I guarantee there's going to be a protest outside your podcast studio or whatever, and you're going to see a bunch of Matrix-minded slaves nice. scre yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> screaming whatever they were told to scream. And they're going to be like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm gonna call my mom. Mom, yeah. I made it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'll be arrested soon. They're here. It happened. Oh, crazy.